guys, Aiden here, Aislon Landscape, and welcome back to another video. I know this change of scenery is a little different from my house, but um, I'm hanging down at Ocean City, Maryland for a few days, hanging here at the beach, but I wanted to explain the timeline. I had a couple of yard projects I had to catch up on um, while over on spring break. I had some fertilizing to do, some uh, leaf cleanups. I was doing some edging and mulching at my uncle's house, so I know the story timeline is a little crazy, but I thought I'd put together some clips to make a video for you this week. First off, I wanted to wish everyone a happy Easter. I know Easter was yesterday, but I want to make sure everybody, I got my wishes out to everybody. Um, yeah, so this is a little different video for everyone, but I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, just wrapped up with this one. I know it doesn't look very even, but in all in here, we went ahead and cut it. It's got a few bare spots, but I mean, take you down in there. I mean, that's pretty thick stand of grass. I mean, it greened up faster than even my lawn. I mean, even down in there, I mean, nice thick turf all the way around. So this is my weekly lawn customer that I cut uh, every week. Different day here, guys. We're gonna go ahead and give you a quick update on the lawn after another week. It's looking good. I'll give you a quick montage down in there. And uh, going out to do some different work today. Gotta go fertilize some lawns, edge it, mulch estimates, leaf cleanups, a little bit of everything today. Um, it's nice out today, so I'm gonna go get some of that stuff done today and hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, this is the property we're going to do. We're going to service it. We're going to pick up some sticks. Just blow these minor leaves up into the tree line up to this property. And then we're going to go ahead and fertilize it. And if we get around to it, we're going to go ahead and take care of all the weeds and the beds up in here. All down in here, all these leaves. You know, there's not too much leaves, but there's definitely some sticks in here. So I'm going to make sure I get everything up before I go ahead and fertilize. And I'll go ahead and put it on a quick time lapse for you all so you guys can see the progress of this job. guys this just goes to show by walking a small 1500 square foot yard how much stuff you can find and just this little yard here all the way around the lawn and landscape that's why it's important to pick up your sticks so that you're not hitting them with your spreader and putting uneven amounts of fertilizer out or um, hitting them with your lawnmower and possibly damaging blades Okay guys, just fertilized this lawn. Um, it was just Scott's lawn food, so it wasn't any uh, chemicals in it or anything. So it didn't contain any weed killer or anything. This lawn's already green, doesn't suffer a weed problem, and doesn't have a crabgrass problem. So in that case, I just gave it regular, good old Scott's fertilizer. Just finished up the front lawn with the fertilizing. I know it's not gonna take care of the uh, dandelions, but it'll definitely green everything up. I will give you an update when I come back to cut the backyard in a few weeks.
Okay, so as you saw before, I did some edging at my uncle's house and I he got me up drive his John Deere tractor. It's a pretty nice tractor. And uh, I'll show you some more clips in just a second, but um, yes, yeah, so I had to just add some mulch beds, put some preen weed preventer down and some other work. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. With that, I'm Aiden from Azelon Landscaping. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.